congressmen want the names of the convicts who have benefited from the GTCA law. Lawmakers also want the names of the Bucor officials who signed their release papers. Royce's Nagat has the story. A massive jailbreak. This is how opposition lawmaker Albay Congressman Ed Salagman calls the Correction Bureau's move to release nearly 2,000 prisoners convicted of heinous crimes since 2014 based on good conduct. In other words, Mr. Chairman, there is a massive jailbreak with the conspiracy and consent of prison officials. The House Justice Committee directed the DOJ and Bucor to submit the list of all former inmates who benefited from the GCTA law, including the crimes they were convicted of. The committee also requested the list of officials who approved their papers. Para sa nangbayaning Atleta Party List Representative Jericho Nagrales wants charges filed against these officials for supposedly violating the revised penal code. Ang mga opisyales na nagpalabas ng mga hinos crimes convict ay magbabayad ng 216 million pesos at 100,000 pesos per count. Ibig ba sabihin yan, ang mga opisyales na nagpalabas ng 2,160 heinous crimes convicts shall serve 2,160 years in jail? DOJ Undersecretary Deo Marco attended the House briefing on behalf of Secretary Menardo Guevara, who was then attending the Senate hearing on the same issue. Marco defended the DOJ, but he threw corrections officials under the bus. He told lawmakers that the Bucor did not submit GCTA-related reports for the DOJ's review and approval. An official of the Davao Penal Farm admitted this to the panel. The facility reportedly released a Taiwanese drug lord. Yes, Your Honor, we... We, we are remiss of our duty in uh, transmitting it, but there is a uh, reason behind that because we are saddled by uh, several, uh, several uh, cases filed before the uh, court and uh, we have very limited numbers of lawyers. So our uh, then Director General ordered it not to transmit anymore. In effect, in the Amin Mo Article 365 the Revised Penal Code, now you have been negligent and that you are criminally liable for your negligence. Para kang nakasagasa ng bata, walang lusot yan. Meanwhile, over at the Senate, Senator Francis Tolentino said the release of the five Chinese drug lords on account of good behavior earlier this year is against the law. Tolentino pointed out that the inmates were freed in April and June, well within the election period. The Omnibus Election Code states that it's illegal to free prisoners 60 days before and 30 days after elections. DOJ says they will now stop the deportation proceedings for the Chinese drug traffickers and that they will again be put behind bars. For News 5, Royces Nagit, we are One News.